right, who wants to hear something really stupid? Well, here I am. I'm out here by myself because you know why? I booked a trip yesterday and no, I booked a trip the day before. The day before yesterday. Today's Wednesday. I thought the guy was talking about this Wednesday. So here I am. I'm getting my downrigger. There's my new downrigger. Right there. And uh, I thought he was talking about Wednesday. This Wednesday. Turns out I'm at the boat ramp, I'm iced up, I'm baited up, I'm ready to go. I hurried up to get my downrigger working that I got off of eBay, and it turns out 7 o'clock came and went, and he's talking about next Wednesday. I went and looked at his web form that he fills out on my website. I was so busy yesterday. I didn't I thought he was talking about this Wednesday so I'm gonna go out here and I'm gonna try it myself and I really don't think there's any bait easy bait so I'm gonna catch me a bunch of croakers and stick them in a live well all right I caught some uh, croakers that's all I caught so I got them out on the downrigger over here But we'll see, I already saw an entire wolf pack of giant jacks go blasting through. A friend of mine found pogies, so I might go get some of those later. We'll see what happens. There he is. Got a croaker thumping on the surface right here. Just had a big time run on this. Probably a shark, he got off. Oh yeah, he's on there. It's a little shark or something. sharks on these rods because this rod really has no ass yeah see this rod doesn't have any ass see you always foul hook these sharks Stripping all the line off. this dude I saw it it's a shark that's what I thought oh my god these rods are terrible for sharks that's how 
strong a tiger on is, folks. Thinking about popping them off. There we go. I just want to get... Uh, it was a black tip. I just wanted to get rid of them. Ah, uh, I got plenty of rigs. I didn't want to waste that much time after I seen what he was. All right, getting some greenies now. Decent bait. Red fin herring. Stuff six pack or at least a four pack. Little suckers fight, especially when there's a bunch of them on there. There we go. I think I got enough bait. I'd rather not be catching sharks. All right, I'm on again. Probably another shark. I stopped short. There's a rip here on this off the south jetty. I was gonna go out a little bit, but I stopped. As I saw this rip line, I figured I'd give it a shot. Plus, I don't even know how to operate my GPS. <laughs> so, this is probably another shark. He hit it on uh, 30 feet down. It's a thread fin herring. Oh, it's a king mackerel. Yeah, it's a king mackerel. It's a king. I better get the gaff out. Out here on the rip line. It's not a big one. But I'm put putting along here on the 15 Merc Pro Kicker. Oh, that's a decent kingfish. Finally, get away from those damn sharks. First king mackerel of the year on the downrigger. I knew that $150 was worth it. I don't want to lose them. I don't. Oh, and he just come off. Oh. Leader broke. Oh, God. Damn. Damn wire broke. Son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Ah. Oh. I really wanted him. All right, maybe I'll get another. Well, you also get bites like this. Perfect cookie cutter. And totally misses two trebles with a stinger. Two trebles. I don't know what that was, but he just bit it and that was it. Oh, look. Oh my gosh. I know he threw that in the water and a uh, socialist shows up. Alexandria Ocasio Cortez. She showed up for a freebie. Yeah. Hey, AOC, the squad. <laughs> All right, well. 
this is the reason why we get home really early and the reason we quit charters in the summer early because of that right there all right just so you can see there's the inlet that's the jetties and then here it comes and right here is downtown Jacksonville that's how Jack how far Jacksonville is from the actual inlet that's downtown that's the reason why in the summertime we're the hell out of here because you can hear these and you do not know where they're going they could go straight across right here and there ain't nothing worse than pulling up at the boat ramp on us on a weekend with 400 damn people trying to get into the into the boat ramp so there you go so that's the reason we're home early boy did this little bugger get a workout today this today was probably the most hours i've put on her since i've had it we trolled and trolled all put put all day long and the cool thing about this is you can run it while you're on the flush right over here i can't do that on my 250 suzuki you're not supposed to run it on the flusher but this little 15 you can you can run it on the flush you don't have to put, you know, the old uh, muffs on it. I'll tell you, if I wasn't in the charter fishing business, and I wasn't in the, in the business of carrying around the 1,200-pound fishing team, I would have a really, really, really sweet aluminum tiller boat. Because I just love tiller engines. I love the simplicity of a tiller. But there's my $150 pen downrigger. It came with a rod holder, a swivel base, and then of course it's got down here where it goes into a rod holder. And it was the extra long boom version that just so happened to work out that here is one of my eyes that I connect my uh, my fenders to. That's a perfect way of battening it on down. It's not going to move. So I got all of this. It works like an absolute champ. I got this pole holder, the downrigger, the swivel base. As you saw today in the fish fishing uh, footage, I adjusted this so it swings out just on a little angle right here and then I stick the rods in the rod holder here and then I mean it's not going anywhere everybody and their brother wants for a little short bait short boomed downrigger no rod holder no swivel base maybe the pull holder part they want like three hundred dollars or even more this system brand new is probably close to 700 bucks. I know this rod holder right here, this pen uh, rod holder can be like $80. And this thing, it works like a champ. It's got cable. We're, most of the time we switch out cable to uh, like 200 pound Super Braid because this will hum going through the water, especially if you're going, if you're doing any speed it'll hum. It has the uh, factory connection on the end right here to put my weight. I don't know if you got to see my weight, but I made this yesterday while I was waiting for FedEx to show up. I made my own downrigger weight. I took a piece of aluminum pipe and uh, drilled a hole in it right here. Two holes. Put a piece of galvanized wire in there and then same thing here and I took a piece of aluminum pipe and I filled it full of lead. 
this right here took me longer to melt the lead than it did to make the actual ball or the uh, weight. So just while I was waiting on my downrigger for FedEx to show up, I made this and uh, saved myself another, you know, $15. I already had release clips. See, that's the release clip. You pinch your line in them rubber, rubber pads right there. And if you're not sure how a downrigger works, well, that, that weight goes on here. Goes on this end right there. And I swing it out like you saw today. And then the pens are really nice because what it has is a drag right here. You pull this back, this drag knob, and it lets the spool go down with the weight on it. And then you tighten it up like this. And there you go. And you turn the handle and you can crank the weight up. I didn't really need the extra long boom, but uh, hey, if it came with it, what the hell? 150 bucks, $20 shipping FedEx all the way from California. This eBay seller is going to get a huge thumbs up from, from Dave. I'm going to, uh, I wanted to tell the eBay seller that I already caught a king mackerel the next day after getting this. But as you saw, he came in and then broke. I saw him plain as day. And he broke my line. Well, the old saying is, like Folger's Coffee, the best part of waking up is a PBR in your hand at the end of the day. I'll get that kingfish after all. Cheers. Me thinking I had a charter today was actually a good thing because I went out and got to iron out everything and make sure everything worked. I literally thought the guy booked today. No, it was next Wednesday with four passengers. Four people. Stick a fork in my ass. I'm hot and I'm done. Thanks for watching.